that is my name is Des. This isn't Vogue, but these are my beauty secrets, and I love watching those, so I thought, why not make one of my own? That's Autumn. She is a little bit sad because she got some shots, but that's beside the point. So uh, I'm going to show you guys my go-to look for every day where, obviously, the first step to good, healthy skin, which right now... That's not happening. Uh, it's that time of month again, so drink lots of water. The first thing that I do when I wake up, obviously I didn't just wake up, I went to Autumn's doctor's appointment, but I always clean my face with these. But that's for another video, that's gonna be my skincare video. And I moisturize because I have extremely dry skin, so we need to keep the moisture in. I use the Bliss Trench and Quench cream to water hydrator for all day moisture both night and day moving on let's get started i'm gonna move my hair out of the way all right let's get started onto our face I'm gonna just not use foundation because I've been not liking foundation very much and I don't really feel like I really need too much because it just feels way too heavy on my face. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I'm gonna take it under eyes because mom of three. Take it right here because I have hormonal breakouts because Aunt Flo is coming to visit. I'm gonna put it just like right there. We're essentially using it like foundation, but not really because, you know, I take my Tamp Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna blend. I also take it up on top of my eyelids just because it kind of helps prime. We just want to make sure we blend it everywhere because, you know, we're not going to be using, like, a foundation. I'm going to be taking this Smashbox Contour Bronze and Highlight Palette using the highlight shade. I'm going to put it right here just to set, really. Over here, I have dry skin, like I said, so I don't necessarily need to, but I feel like I need to set the concealer everywhere that it went. Now that that's over, I'm going to actually contour a little bit with the cooler toned shade. I'm like almost out of this. Uh, I'm sad. The way I contour for every day is not like super defined. But I do have like a rounder face so we need to find the cheekbones a tab all right it's just a little contoured not a lot moving on to a bronzing I'm gonna be taking my wet and wild color icon rose champagne 326b I like it because it's just like a little shimmery golden tint and it works as a bronzer. I'm just taking my little fluffy brush. I'm just gonna bronze down the neck. Because a lot of the times my face is a little bit lighter than my body. Um, 
I'm gonna take my sultry palette and then I'm just gonna take this lovely profusion blending brush and I'm gonna take birch and just put it all over the eyelid and crease area. You'll see. the same brush I'm gonna actually go into dystopian and I'm just gonna put that directly into the crease just to create a little bit more definition but we're not really doing an eye look we're just defining okay now on to our eyebrows I'm gonna be taking this lime crime in smoky bushy brow gel I don't really like it, but it's what I got and that's what we're working with, so. My least favorite thing to do is eyebrows. As you guys can tell, I don't really do anything to my eyebrows. I once shaved them all off when I was going through that emo phase because I wanted to look like Chris Motionless. Shout out if you know who he is. And so I would do my eyebrows with just like eyeliner and the eyebrows were gone. So what can you do? But then they grew back. I had super bushy brows, which would have been great for this new bushy brow trend but now they have some bald spots because I decided to shave them off. I'm going to take my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is a travel size obviously because I'm a cheapskate but I'm just going to be taking this and I'm just going to put it on my eyebrows both bottom and top. You want to get into the root. This looks insane. taking Amazed from this Tarte palette that I've had for years and I'm gonna make it look like I just got a sunburn. I will have you know that I used to do this before it was on Vogue but you know. One of my favorite makeup products is blush because I think that was one of the first things that I ever noticed when I was little was David Bowie always had like really bright pink blushes and my parents had a David Bowie poster up in our house and I just remember seeing like blush. All right, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild lipstick which is in 902C Bear It All. It's just like a regular. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of dab it because we don't want to like put it on like that. You'll see. Then I'm gonna take my EOS lip balm. I'm kind of smooth it dry lips all the time so we need something to bring the moisture back and we did our lips we did our face next up we need a highlight so taking this excessive profusion pro highlight palette I'm gonna take this 
handy dandy brush and I'm just gonna dip into one of these maybe both to beauty look i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did go ahead give this a thumbs up comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time in our next video bye also i wanted to say that my podcast is live it's called woman the loneliest hood podcast where i talk about all things womanhood and you know real and raw topics that women go through daily it's available on spotify working i'm getting it on to apple but it is live on spotify so if you guys want to go check that out i'm going to leave it linked down below anyway see you guys next time bye